The media plays a significant part in the connection between college sports and its fans. Anything and everything you could possibly want to know about college sports can be found online. From videos to blogs to news articles to entire websites, information about college sports can be found just about anywhere. Sports websites are great sources to use when looking for anything about college sports. ESPNU.com is one of many websites to visit, giving its viewers everything that they want to know about today's college sports, from the latest game updates to stories about your favorite teams, keeping fans updated at all times. The college sports section of ESPN.com allows fans to connect with other fans and to express their opinions about college sports. The website has a direct link to its Facebook page, titled ESPNU.com, which focuses solely on college sports. There, people can view videos and photos of game practices and highlights and post comments about them or anything related to college sports. The ESPN College Sports Twitter page also has a direct link to it from the ESPNU.com website where fans can find the latest information about college sports and student athletes. Fans who visit ESPNU.com have access to college sports blogs and contests that they can enter for a chance to win sports-related prizes. With websites like ESPNU.com, college sports fans can stay connected with their sports teams and can be kept informed about them at all times. Fans have direct access to many other media outlets just by using this one website. The connection between fans and information about their favorite college sports teams is greater than ever before, thanks to the World Wide Web. On the news website Syracuse.com, there's a section dedicated to Syracuse sports. Here, Syracuse fans will find articles written about the different sports teams, photos of past games, and videos and interviews with the members of the sports teams about past and upcoming games. There is even a question and answer session once or twice a month with some of the authors of the articles where people can send in questions about anything related to Syracuse sports that they would like to know, whether it is about the performance of the team during a game or what teams do during practices. The media is always aiding in the process of recruiting. The social networking sites, Facebook and Twitter, allow for college sports fans to get updates on the status of recruits and to view videos and photos of recruits that is used to show the nation the amazing talents of these young men and women. On the internet, people can find rankings of the new recruits. With the rankings and the videos of the new recruits, it makes it easier for college sports coaches to see these recruits in action to see how they play and if they would be able to play well on the team. Coaches can now obtain more information about the recruits before offering them a position on their team. Coaches can now see what talent is coming to the team before the recruit even steps foot on campus. Many news websites also keep up-to-date stories on the year's new recruits. On the website Syracuse.com, many articles can be found about the number one high school men's basketball recruit, Nerlens Noel. Before choosing to play for Kentucky, Noel was also considering Syracuse and Georgetown. Every time an article was written and posted by someone, there would be dozens of comments from college sports fans, many of them Syracuse fans, about the talent that Noel has, who they think he is going to play for, and just their opinions about him. These articles serve as a place where college sports fans, no matter what school they like, can come together and talk about something that they all have in common with one another, college sports. Just as the media attention can be positive, it can also have its negative sides. Only those high school student athletes who are the best of the best are highlighted all over the internet. What about those athletes that have talent that are not recognized? It might be more difficult for the high school student athlete to receive offers from certain colleges where there's only a few recruits that are nationally recognized. My name is Donald Pollitt, and I'm a member of the men's track and field team. Okay, so do you have a smartphone? Yes, I have an iPhone 4S series the best. <laughs> um, so what apps do you have on it? Like Facebook, Twitter? I have Facebook and Twitter. Yes, I do. Okay, so how often do you like share statuses or, or tweets or, like well, throughout a day? I mean, I'll tweet once in a while, but... Being an athlete, we gotta watch what we tweet because I mean we're not the only ones that see it, obviously. So our coaches tell us not to tweet anything bad. Like if someone has an injury, we can't tweet that. You know, if someone's having problems, we don't tweet that. So we're like limited to what we can and cannot tweet. So you don't tweet that because um you have like competitors like that are like friends in the same network. We might you you never know because I mean if you're not if your account's not private and you're oh, like yeah. 
somebody's against you, they'd be like, oh, if someone's hurt, then like they'll spread the word. So you don't want to do that at all. Okay. Um. So do you like? Do you personally research other teams, like your competition? No. I mean, other than like going to websites to see what other people run, but I don't really worry about them if they have Twitter or not. Not through the social networks. No. Okay, so do you have like a fan base? Like people retweet you, like people that you don't know, so obviously are your fans. We do have some people that probably like track and field. I mean, unless you're like number top ten in the country, then nobody's really gonna follow you if you're not like making some noise. When when you when you were in that competition freshman year, when you were nominated for rookie of the year, did any social networks like affect you? Not affect you in a bad way, but just like. Um, I didn't have a Twitter back then. You know, I had one, but I didn't use it. But I had Facebook, and that's how I most got most of my voters. Cause like me and my teammates, we just like spread word through that, and that's how I got out there. Okay. Do you does your team like? Do you have like group messages with your teammates, or like inside jokes, or just anything with your teammates throughout through the social networks? We got a bunch of inside jokes that only my teammates and I know about, and it's like. On it. Like, people might look at them like, oh, what are they talking about? But obviously, we're the ones that know about it because we come up with them, so. Okay, and so that makes you guys closer as a I team? I mean, it does because, I mean, I mean, it's not like we don't really... Only time we're on, like, Twitter and things, we're not together, but we're mostly, mostly together all the time. So, I mean, we get the experience on without communication and just being together. Okay. Um, so, you have you had, like, an awesome experience... Um, through the social networks where you're like where you see someone like mentions you someone important through or maybe like an awful one where it was just like um so. no I mean I do have some some very good retweets some mentions I mean I know I got re- retweeted by one of my um football team athletes he is a tight end he retweeted me well he mentioned back to me and I mean that was just like wow so I guess these at famous people they do take the time on they do get all the tweets so I was like that's that's crazy. Throughout the world, people enjoy watching sports for entertainment. As technology has evolved over recent decades, so has the method in which people receive information. Sports fans can access highlights, game scores, statistics, and information on both their teams and individual players instantaneously. Today, sports fans access the majority of their information from the internet, sports applications on smartphones, as well as social networking websites such as Twitter. Recently, and an article was written describing the shift in how people watch sporting events. It described how people are not just watching sporting events in person or on the television anymore, but are accompanied by their computers, smartphones, or tablets. Fans are using social networking websites as well as other internet websites to gain information about teams they like, other teams, and the players on each team instantaneously while watching the sporting event. Consequently, sports stations are taking notice of the popularity of Facebook and Twitter in their audience. According to the article, 83% of sports fans say they check sports-related social media pages while watching the game on TV. In that same article, it stated that 63% of fans will even I browse the sports students social at media websites University while they, they are news at and the information game. about their favorite sports teams, including the teams at Syracuse University. One student said that they either watch their favorite sports teams on television or on internet television websites in order to hear their favorite commentators. The same student claimed that they never read newspapers or magazines in order to check the score from a game, but instead use the internet. Another student said that if they cannot go to see the Syracuse basketball game, they will try to see it either on television or on the internet. It is clear that sports fans can access information electronically, whether it be professional league sports or college team sports. Also, fans tend to use both television and the internet at the same time. Sport fans seem to utilize the advantages of using computers, smartphones, and tablets to sport either watch the actual sporting event now using or to use it during to the sporting their teams. Event. This is best seen with Boston Celtics point guard Ray John Rondo. He used Twitter, a microblogging social networking website, to help promote his basketball team by giving away prizes, including tickets to the NBA Finals. He promoted the giveaway with a scavenger hunt around the Boston area. 
Rondo's followers read his tweets with the hashtag loose ball. These tweets had hints to secret locations for the day's prize. The first person to complete the scavenger hunt won the big prize while others won smaller prizes. This is just one of many examples of how professional sports teams professional are sports using their teams players are not to the interact only teams with their that fans social in order to promote their like own Twitter. team to keep in touch with their fans. For example, Fab Mello, starting center for the Syracuse Orange basketball team during the 2011-2012 season, uses Twitter in order to stay in contact with Syracuse fans. He even replies to direct tweets that are about him on his Twitter account. This was best seen during the past basketball season when Fab Mello was unable to participate in the NCAA tournament because of his academic reasons. Many fans and students from Syracuse University tweeted about Fab Mello and he was able to talk to his fans and the fans Fans the also team share about with what the public happened. how they feel about certain players, teams, and sport organizations through the creation of internet memes. An internet meme refers to a concept that spreads rapidly from person to person via the internet. Because the media is so wide, it affects even more because when someone makes a meme and publishes it, it gets linked and shared instantly and suddenly the person who they talk about are not being judged by the creator of the meme only, but by everyone else who sees them as well. And the amount of people who will see them through the social networks is uncountable. Internet memes are not always negative. Here we see an example of a meme that expresses the rivalry between the Syracuse and UConn men's basketball team, which makes the fans' interest grow which eventually causes more viewers and more fans to go to games and cheer on their team.